Okay, so hopefully you've got this video tutorial from either the retexturing a Dragon Age item video or the making a new weapon model video. And at this stage, you should have some uh, items which look a little bit like this, some folders, um, files rather, and you want to know where to put them so that you can get them into the tool set. Okay, well, before we do that, we want to consider um, exactly how we're going to get them into the game. We want to put them somewhere that um, is going to modify all core files um, so that it's in any module we want it to, um, but we don't want to do that by actually changing the single player or the core files themselves. So we're going to make a new module which extends uh, the core files without overwriting them completely. So go to the Dragon Age toolset and make a new in file manage modules. Um, make a new module uh, and we're just going to call it uh, Warhammer uh, mod. Um, and for our UID, this has to be unique, um, so make sure you're not copying anybody else's um, name. This will be the name of the folder, um, so hopefully nobody else has got one called Warhammer mod. And we need to just come down a little ways to extended module and choose to extend the core game resources and hit OK and then open. Okay, so what that should have done, hopefully, is if you go to your add-ins folder, which can be found at uh, your local drive, documents and settings, uh, username, my documents, Bioware, Dragon Age, add-ins, you should now have a new folder uh, named after your unique ID. And we want to go to the core, um, probably data is fine, um, and we want to drop our files into there. So let's just move all of these. Hopefully put, you've put them in a folder so it's nice and neat and tidy. Um, you can use whatever structure you like um, inside of um, inside of your own own uh, within within this data folder. So just put them in a folder if it's if it's more organised. Okay. So now that they're in there, unfortunately we have to restart the tool set for them to get to work. So I'm going to close the tool set now. Um, but there's another thing that we need to do before we can get to them. We need to make a variation file, an item variation file. All that does is it says that, um, that the, the model I've got here, this weapon, is a, uh, and I'm going to use mace, um, it's, it's a variation of a mace so that um, the toolset can know where you want to be able to choose it from. And to make that variation file we, uh, we go to our existing um, 2DAs and uh, try and modify the item variations file itself. Um, so your 2DAs can be found um, in your uh, local drive program files, Dragon Age, Tools, Source, 2DA, Rules. Uh, and this should have some various um, XLS files. And we want item variations.xls, which should bring it up here. Now, this has a whole load of different sheets. Now I'm only interested in the mace sheet, so I'm just going to go to mace variation. And I don't really want to modify this sheet, I actually want to make a new one. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to right click, um, I'm afraid that's gone off screen. Right click, um, move or copy. I'm going to create a copy and I'm going to choose to make it in a new book. Okay, so we've now got um, this here. You must rename your sheet, um, keep the beginning bit the same, that means that um, the um, engine will know that you're extending it, use an underscore and then put whatever you're going to use. So I'm going to call it Warhammer. Now we want to get rid of all the Dragon Age stuff we don't want, so I'm going to get rid of all of these and this invalid one here. Um, and before you start um, modifying this, you need to make sure you're using an ID which is unique because you don't want to overwrite anything that's already there. Now if you're doing the community contest, you should try and reserve uh, an ID to make sure that um, nobody else goes with the same one. Um, we're using the range 140 through 160. You can get to those by scrolling down through the community contest page and going into ID ranges and right at the bottom we've got some variation sheets. Now I've already reserved in the mace variation sheet ID 140 and that's got my name there. Um, so you should try and do this for whichever sheet you're using uh, and whatever ID you're using. It's okay to use 140 as long as it's in another sheet. Uh, so once you've done that you should now be okay to uh, use 140 and hopefully nobody else will use that um, in the future. So this string here is just the description name, so I'm going to call it Warhammer, that's not too much of a big deal. However, the rest is important that you get this right. Now if we look at the name, how I've named mine here, um, I've called it W underscore MCE underscore, and then I've got this whole long thing here. Um, 
and this is the bit that we need to be exactly the same. So we've got um, the, the W comes from it being a weapon, so we, we don't need to put that in. The MCE is in here, and then we want to use instead of MCO1, we're going to use WH MICO1, uh, and then the A just goes in the end. So that should be all we need from that. So save that out now, um, and I'm going to save it over to. Um, I've made a new folder for this, um, just so it's nice and neat and tidy. I'm going to call it the um, same as my uh, the sheet name, which is uh, Mace Variation Warhammer. Uh, there we go. Okay, so we've got an XLS file, but that's not a GDA yet. We need that to be a GDA file, and to do that, we need to uh, process it through the Excel processor. Um, the best way to do that generally, um, you can dra drag and drop it onto the Excel processor, which apparently works. It doesn't work for me, so uh, I'm going to show you the way I do it, um, which is to make a new, um, oh, off, I'm afraid, new text document and rename it as um, Excel Processor dot bat, which will make it into a bat file, which is what we want. And then right click and edit, and we should have it in Notepad. Now, uh, the next bit I'm just going to copy and paste because I know what should go in there, but um, if you can hopefully read this, I guess maybe pause it um, on this screen and you should be able to uh, um, copy and paste it. Oops, let me make that a little bigger. Here we go. Um, so this is all we need in there. Um, paste that in and save it out. And that path should be uh, correct for your Excel processor. should be in your... Um, in your program files drag and age folder. So make sure that that's correct. Mine's in the H drive, which I won't be the same for you. Then it's as simple as uh, just dragging it on top of it. Um, ah, now I've got it open, that's my fault, so I'm going to abort that. And I'm not going to close it because it doesn't like it being open at the same time as you uh, process it. So let's try that again. And there's our GDA file, which will now drop in with the rest of our files. There we are. And that should be ready to go, so let's open up. Okay, so we should now be able to choose it in the toolset. So, File, New, Item. Um, give it a useful name. Um, I guess I'll call mine Mike Warhammer. Uh, it's nice to put it in a, a folder. I'm just going to put it in a folder called um, mic test or something. Um, keep everything together, nice and organized. Make sure you are in the correct mod, by the way. Um, okay, so let's change the base item type to a mace, which is where we where we put our variation. And in the drop down, ignore the test one. Um, we should have there it is our item. Um, and just to make sure we're yeah we've got everything working correctly, I'm. Going to add an on hit effect of um, I don't know electricity damage um, ten. It's obviously very high, but um, that should uh, cause the visual effect. It won't come up in this preview pane, but it will come up when it's in the game. Um, be sure to add a name um, and ideally a description and things like that. But um, I'm I'm not going to really bother doing that just now. Um, and that's pretty much it made. So uh, let's just export that. Um, export without dependent resources. And that's done. Um, to actually equip it on your character, you might like to make a, a new script. Um, so let's make a new script. Um, we'll call it uh, Mike Warhammer Give. Uh, but we'll put that in the same folder. Uh, I haven't got a folder for that. Um, did I call it Mike Warhammer? I've forgotten now. <laughs> Never mind. Um, it should be a fairly simple um, script. Um, uh, so that's just giving us an object APC that'll um, be the, the player character. And then. Um, Let's see. Uh, we're looking for a give item, something like that. Okay, so we'll use this create item on object. Um, if you ever need help with any of your functions, just double click it and a little window should appear. So we need a 
resource name, which is the uh, UTI, which if we if we jump over to this, um, it's Mike Warhammer UTI. So um, when you're declaring a resource, you need to put a little R in front of it, I think. Um, so Mike Warhammer dot UTI, and then the target is the PC, and then. Um, Everything else can be default, that's all fine. So close that, semicolon, uh, and that should be all it needs for the script. So we'll export that as well. Oh, I think that just means it wants brackets there. Uh, let's try that F7. Yeah, I was happy with that, so now we should be able to export it. Yeah, that's better. Okay, um, now let's try loading up our game and seeing if, if that works. Make sure to run the game in the um, with console mode enabled. So uh, you can look on um, the Dragon Age Wikia site uh, under console, and that'll tell you how to enable it in this section here. Just run the uh, run the path um, with a enable oops, enable developer console uh, on. Okay, so I made a couple of mistakes whilst recording these videos. I'll, I'll share those with you now. The first one, which I, I fixed actually part way through the videos, was um, the names of my models. Um, they weren't showing up in the item editor, and the reason for that was because I hadn't uh, got the right um, suffix. So although um, it sort of ends in, in the A bit, um, which you know you can see from the GDA um, that, I, that I named it uh, Myco one and the next column that was the A, um, it actually adds an underscore zero. Um, to fix that, renaming files is, is not sufficient. They contain internal references which, which you're not changing when you just change the file name. Um, so the way to fix that, or the easiest way I should say, is, um, is actually just to export them from uh, 3ds Max again. Um, it usually doesn't take a second. Um, just make sure that this time around you name it with, a, with the underscore zero at the end, which is the high level of detail one. If you're doing another one then uh, you'll use underscore uh, two maybe. Um, probably best to check that with the, the um, files you can look at the, in the Dragon Age Origins Earths. Um, so that was fixed a bit earlier uh, and I've just tried to, to export it and it actually ended up in the wrong folders so my, my exports won't go to the right place. The way we fix that is find the resources, um, you can use the All tab to, to find all the resources that are relevant um, and then in Properties, oh, sorry first of all I'll have to check it in so uh, right click check in, don't need to enter a comment once those are in, uh, right click properties and instead of the module being the uh, the module that we're in, we're going to make it module core game resources which is going to make sure that it exports to the correct folder uh, and then we'll just export those again. Uh, so export with that dependent resources should be fine. Uh, once that's done, restart origins if you had it open already, otherwise start origins and um, let's try out our, our script to give ourselves a new item. So uh, I'll just type in now um, the uh, console key, which uh, unfortunately I, I can't tell you because it'll vary between regions, so just check the um, the console instructions on the uh, Wikia page. Uh, and then I'll be typing in uh, run, you won't be able to see this unfortunately, run script space and then the name of the script, which was uh, mike underscore warhammer underscore give. And little items received, things comes up. Uh, and let's just give uh, Alistair that item, close that out, and uh, let's see it in action. Okay, so he's using it away there. Um, let's see how he's holding it. So um, the size is about right. It's, it's quite a small item. The, the uh, visual effect is coming from the right place. Um, the grip's about the right size, um, maybe it's a little fat, but um, and maybe he should be holding it a little bit lower down, but it's not far off. I'm happy enough with that, I think. So um, hopefully you've you've got to this stage too, and um, if you do have any problems, the best place to ask is usually the Bioware social network, um, and hopefully we'll see some, some cool new weapons and stuff soon. So good luck. I look forward to seeing what you can make.